Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We're here on location at the Yahara Bay Distillery. We are. This is a really hidden treasure. It is a hidden treasure. We're going to learn a lot a little bit later in the show. I'm very excited about it. Yes, but first, we're going to check in with Bonnie from the Learning Shop here in Madison. Bonnie, how are you? I'm great. How could you not be great on such a sunny day? I oh, know, absolutely. it's beautiful. But this is going to be a day of learning. I can just it feel is. it. We have a lot ahead of us. And you brought some, you brought some stuff. What did you bring I here did. and what, what are we going to be doing today? Oh, well, we're going to be doing some science experiments okay. today. Um, I brought our Steve Spangler Naked Eggs and Flying Potatoes. Isn't that a great name for I a love that yeah. name. Yes, right. thank you. So we're going to do a little experiment here and um, it has to do with colors. Okay. okay. And um, in this pie plate I have poured about a cup of milk, whole okay. milk. Whole okay. milk, okay. So, is that no, important, just curious? Yes. Okay. And I don't know if you want to dirty your fingers by opening these and getting food coloring on your hands. <laughs> yeah, it's we'll risk it. I'll let Jessa do that. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to <laughs> put a drop, my pants. drop of each color toward the center okay. and just leave a little bit of milk in the middle. Now, am I avoiding each color like they don't need to touch? No. Okay. All right, so we're so going to start with some green here. I need to be able to open the color first. Okay, just so one drop? Yep. Is that okay here? Yep. There's green. You know what, and I'll, to speed things along, I'll open for okay. you. That is great. There's blue. If nothing else, it looks cool, so we're oh, already it's having going to, fun. It's going to look much, much cooler. There's, is that orange or yellow? That's yellow. yellow. Yes, okay. And a red. Okay, okay. so right. Justin, Good shape. you're going to take okay. a cotton swab and just dip your cotton swab in the center of the milk. In the center, okay. Yes. Anything happening? Nothing's happening. Okay, it's not supposed to. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Now we're I going... was worried that we got it <laughs> no, wrong. No, no, okay. we're good. Now we're going to take some dish soap. Okay. And we're going to dip the cotton swab in that. Now you want to try and do the same thing? Same thing? Yep. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, my god! It's like the 4th of July. And now you can move your cotton swab all the way. You lift it up. Don't swirl. Okay. Oh. Lift it up. Yep, and I'll put it in somewhere, somewhere else in the bowl. You want to try, Jess? Yeah, I do. Why does it do that? That is so interesting. I didn't know what to expect. And well, look at the yellow van. Well, what you could do then is if you're doing this with kids, you want to expand it. You don't want to tell them why it's doing that. Right. right. So you would do the same experiment with different liquids water, sure. juice, sure. maybe oil. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, because we have to speed things along, it's only going to work with this whole milk. Mm -hmm. What oh, does really? whole milk have that water, juice, skim milk does not have? Fat. Fat. Yeah. Oh. It's the fat um, interacting with the dish dish soap exactly. that makes you have this explosion of color in this your bowl. Because so the dish soap is supposed to repel grease and that. So. Exactly. Wow. So, so that's that's out of our you. book. Okay. Naked okay. eggs and this flying is such potatoes. Such a cool idea. So and this is the guy that did the the Mentos with the Coca Cola. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't famous. bring that one today. No, we, we would be in trouble. <laughs> a little bit messy. Yeah, that one's a little messier. Yeah. But that, what, lots of fun things. So Absolutely. Lots of fun um, things, ways to learn with science, and pretty easy experiments yes. for the most part. Is this something yes. that teachers can use? Is this teachers can use. That. I don't know if you remember when when I was a kid, science was open your book, turn to page, blah blah blah, right. and we'll read. Right. This way, you're getting the kids involved, and you're they're asking the questions. Why did that happen? Was well, it going yeah. to happen here? Is it going to happen here? Mm -hmm. And you can do it at home. My son and I took this book home a couple of years ago, sure. and during the summer, when you're bored, a couple times a week, we'd pull an experiment out and we'd do it, and yeah. we learned a lot. I brought this one too. I okay. don't know if we have time to see we it, got a but this, minutes. Yeah, yeah, sure. this one is very cool. Okay, I'm gonna this shovel these out of the way. Is Ivory soap. Okay. Okay. Ivory soap. Oh, it um, sure is. It looks like cotton. But I know. Soap. Okay. And your, oh, wow. and your microwave smells great too. Uh -huh. I cut the ivory soap up into little squares. Okay. okay. And I put it in the pie plate and I put it in the microwave for one minute. And it turns really? into this cloud. Now, How why many do you of think these? that is? Did you put all the squares in there? Yep. A whole bar. Okay. Yep. Uh, what does ivory soap do that? have that other soaps don't? I don't know. I don't know either. Do you remember when? Oh, you probably don't. I'm dating myself. <laughs> ivory soap floats. Oh, okay. And the reason it floats is because there's air beat into it. Oh, and really? when it's like whipped soap. Yes. Uh -huh. And in fact, years ago, um, ivory soap did not float. And when the um, one of the gentlemen who was working in the soap factory went to lunch, he forgot to turn the whipping machine off. <laughs> and so much air was whipped into the soap that when the new bars came out, they floated and everybody was like, we want that soap. And so this is an experiment, and you can have kids try it with different soaps. Is right. it going to happen if I cut up a bar of dial, or is it wow. going to happen if I cut up a, bun, a, 
of iris spring or whatever. And now the answer is no, right? Right, this is right. The right. Wow. So, well, but what a you fun can see. bathtub toy. I mean, you could take this yes, out, float it could. in the bathtub. Yes, yes. How much fun. It's Bath cool. time is fun again. <laughs> it is. I love is it. Again. And they get clean, too. And they get clean. Very so, great experience. So, do you guys have um, other science related items? I mean, you got some books, mm -hmm. you have like science kits or anything like yes, that? Yes, we do. We have science kits. Okay. In fact, right now is science fair time. So, we have the okay. big presentation boards that kids can put all their project things on. We have little, you know, the letters that you can use for your science fair projects. We have books, we have kits, and of course we have Steve Spangler. Excellent. So fun. Excellent. All these great things. We got to talk, we've talked about tactile toys. I really just wanted to say that again. Yeah, sure. Um, and the great <laughs> books that you have. And now this is just a wonderful, fun way to learn on the weekend or for teachers. Right. Yeah, right, absolutely. And it's all it's all planned out for you right here in the book. So that's yes, great it is. That. So mm -hmm. Bonnie Pearson from the Learning Shop Thanks here in Madison. Thank you for Bonnie. joining us. Don't go away. There's more Wisconsin Family coming up right after this. Stick around.